I wanted to be in a band because I grew up in a home full of music. Um, it was always around, it was always being played. My dad was a musician and he's my hero. <laughs> so I figured um, I would kind of follow his footsteps. I noticed that our band was special when everything we started to do grew at kind of a faster pace than what I had expected. And I think anything that grows at a faster pace sort of hopefully means something good. <laughs> so yeah, I think um, just the growth and the, the development of our, of our band has been, you know, something to look forward to. If our band never worked out, if, if what I do um, was non-existent, I would probably be in school really bored right now. <laughs> I always feel anxious. I, uh, you know, about putting our music out in, into the world. Um, it's a nerve-wracking thing, putting your art out there. It's, you know, something you call your own. You've created it, and only you. Uh, well, in our case, you know, the five of us. So when you put it out there for way more people to observe and judge and all that, yeah, of course, yeah, it's pretty nerve-wracking. But um, I think those nerves kind of help you grow and help motivate you and kind of form you into a better better person. Yeah, I like I actually kind of like getting nervous sometimes. <laughs> uh, there's been a few times where we thought that I remember there was this one tour where we we were driving the van and we were doing a 31 hour drive and we were driving through the middle of Canada and I remember it was at the end of the tour and we were just banging our heads against the window just hopefully like, is this gonna end? And it's funny, whenever I get into those kind of uh, moods where I think that, you know, this could be the last tour, it's too exhausting, I'm, I'm really just mentally drained. After it's all done, I wanna do it all over again and I think that's just part of the kind of person and kind of people we are and we're all just nuts. I don't know, we're weird and crazy. <laughs> yeah, um, I've definitely cried a few times on stage when there's uh, that, you know, the energy from the crowd coming, you know, back and forth, the kind of thing that I think most bands talk about um, that motivate them to play a good show um, actually makes me super emotional. Uh, and it's probably because I'm a girl and <laughs> I really appreciate that kind of thing. But yeah, it's, it's weird when you see, especially like recently we've seen on tours kind of like the growth in the crowds and um, seeing that um, in person and not just like on the internet and uh, by looking at like, I don't know, maybe the number of followers someone has, like actually seeing that in real life is really emotional. So yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to kind of turn, turn your back to the crowd and I kind of just stare at our drummer and like, oh, this is really sad, but happy, sad, so, yeah. My 15-year-old self <laughs> would um, probably think I was a lot cooler than I am, or than I thought I was gonna be. Um, when I was 15, I was, I was really into watching bands and listening to new bands and um, trying to discover the next new thing. And so I think if I was 15-year-old, 15 year old me, now I would hopefully look at We Are the In Crowd as, you know, a band that I thought was going to make it far, <laughs> I'd hope.